Mayor Giuliani says it's been going on for more than a decade. But somehow, former police brass say they've never had any indication that nearly two dozen cops were frequenting a midtown bordello. If this had, has been going on in a, uh, uh, for 15 years, all the police officers who would have been involved in something like that over that period of time, word would have leaked out and someone would have done something about it. Condon's view is echoed by a former commander of Midtown South, Richard Mayrone. We talked to him by phone from his vacation home in Florida. I would find it very difficult to believe that they would. And I, and I know one thing, it wouldn't be two, 15, 20 guys uh, involved in that. Uh, so it would get back to me, get back. Mayrone ran Midtown South when the Sex for Protection prostitution ring was supposedly in its heyday in the late 1980s. So far, 20 cops from the precinct have been stripped of their guns and badges for allegedly having sex with hookers in this brothel on West 39th Street. Some people who work on the street say the cops' connection to the brothel was well known, but this man was very cautious when we asked about it. Are you aware of it? I mean, it's kind of hard to not be aware of it, but what can you do? How long have you been working here? Nine years. So nine years, so you must have seen something. Well, I'll take the fifth. I park here sometimes, I'm waiting for my helper, you know, and I see a man in, uh, in and out, you know, then uh, I check for, ask the people, you know, they say, oh, this is what's going on, and that's it. So you knew about it for a while? Oh, yeah. So far, Internal Affairs, which is investigating along with the Manhattan District Attorney's Office, are tight-lipped. In Midtown, Adele Samarco, New York One.